Hey guys, thanks for clicking on my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a couple of first impressions. Some were a big hit, some were like a miss but then a hit, and some were just kind of, I'm not sure if I'm there yet. If you want to see which ones are a hit and which ones are a miss, and if you want to see which ones I still have hope for, then keep watching this video and I'll show you guys all my first impressions. So what I thought I would do is use one of my more mattifying foundations, which is the Revlon Colorstay, to mix it with it. These are the Sephora Radiant Luminizing Drops. The color that I got was an ultra light. All the rest of the colors, for some reason, I'm not sure if they... I don't remember why I chose this color in particular, but I know that it was one that made sense for my skin tone. So I'm just going to mix um, a couple of drops of my foundation with this. I haven't really played around with this quite like a lot. So oh, it's a little light. Hmm. We'll see. It might be fine. It definitely lightens up the foundation, but I'm sure it goes away more, like a lot like moisturizer. You know how moisturizer kind of makes it look light? Oh, that does not look good. Um, I don't recommend mixing it with your foundation. No, I'm taking that off. Yeah, the foundation just looked a little um, grainy and like it accentuated dry areas, which I'm not a dry person, so I don't know where those came from. I'm going to stick to what I know and I'm going to stick with the L'Oreal Pro Glow. This Prep and Prime um, Eye Base, this is a 24 hour primer and I know that I, I played around with it a couple of times at MAC, but it was so brand new that I didn't really get to do a, like a makeover really, um, but I'm going to try it today and I know I'm very familiar with the Urban Decay one it's the one that I used in my kit and the Urban Decay one would turn into a color it was very subtle but it was definitely you know not clear the way people think it is and it was very sticky oh wow that's really clear mmm I like it okay another new product that I wanted to try out for you guys was this mascara. So this is a Jordana mascara. It's called Best, Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. I think I've seen a lot of people talk about this, but I didn't know how it performs. So I just already took out the casing. It's not waterproof, so I don't know how well it's going to hold my curl. Hmm. It's okay. Okay, no, it's just my left lashes that are bad. <laughs> These lashes suck. These are good. I'm actually excited about my bottom lashes now. Whoa, it looks like I have a ton. Oh my gosh, it looks like I have a ton. They're amazing for my bottom lashes. Oh yeah. That's fun. These are the products that I'm really excited to try out. So this is a baked highlighter from e.l.f. I have never played with these before. Oh wow, that looks so pretty. Oh. Oh. That's really gritty. <gasps> hmm. That's not good. That's not soft at all. It's like super gritty. And then the other one is the e.l.f. Illuminating Palette. This is, there's no color. It's just a palette. Oh, these are creamy. Um, but dusty. Let's try the e.l.f. Um, highlighter, the baked one. This is in the color Blush Gems. What's oh, there? Just really light. So it does work better with the brush. So I think I'm gonna try. It's like a peachier tone. Oh, that's really oh, a lot of fallout. That one's really subtle. I don't know, you guys. I'm super disappointed. I think it's pretty if you're like for work, maybe. You know, it's like not super shiny. The last thing I'm going to be trying is the matte lip color. This one is in the color Cranberry. So it's supposed to be not red, but a little red. I, um, I remember I bought one of these at Old Navy. I sell them at Old Navy. And I bought like a mauve color. And it was totally not mauve. It was like an ashy blue tone pink. It was really bad. Um, the other one that I'm going to be trying is um, the e.l.f. I took it out of the packaging already just because I wanted to see what it looked like. It's a real funny chubby stick. 
It's the Day to Night Lipstick Duo, The Best Berries. Let me try on the light one first. This is the color the Day. That's totally a color I would wear. It's very creamy, almost matte. That's nice. Okay, so I'm going to switch it tonight, pretend that it wore off. Okay, so this is the night. It looks very berry. Wow, that's like really has a lot of color. That one's pretty. That looks really good in person. It looks like a very berry. This is a true berry color. I like this one a lot. I can dig that. I can dig that. Okay, so now this is the matte color again from e.l.f. And this is in color cranberry. Go in like these little retractables. Hmm, that's much more mute than I thought it would look. I did not expect that. I expected that from the other one. This is a really good work appropriate color. Um, it looks a little bit bright at least from my viewfinder, but in person it's much more muted, but it still looks like a really good lip color. I like this color a lot. Oh my gosh. I'm actually so happy it wasn't as pigmented as I thought that it would be. I thought it would be as pigmented as this berry color. Um, and this one's a little bit more matte than the, the matte one, so that's confusing. But it's totally worth it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Because I don't have like a regular lipstick not liquid lip but like a lipstick this kind of color Ooh, I'm happy about that so the Sephora one I don't know you guys I think I'm gonna have to return it I just don't like it it looks really bad when I mixed it um, I guess I could have actually let me just try laying it on top oh okay hold on that looks way pretty okay I spoke too soon this is really pretty just on top of foundation and stuff okay we found the proper use and you don't need a lot I like I did one big squeeze but you really could have just done a small squeeze like it would have covered everything so that's cool so I'm gonna probably keep this <laughs> I also used this palette this illuminating palette and then this highlighter. Neither of them were just outrageous and impressive and made me really happy. So I'm, I'm super sad about it. But maybe if I layer it on top of something, it'll look better. Like, yeah, like that layered on top of something is good. So this I'll play around with some more, see if I end up loving it. Um, this one I was super disappointed with because it's super, it's so dry. It's like, it's like gritty. Yeah, it looks good. It looks better pick it up with the brush so those are okay I don't love them but they're just okay but they look way better layered on top of something this little duo um, lipstick this is a really really perfect concept this color is really really great this one is in the color berry the best berries so I love this one a lot and I like the textures of them and then this color this was my first time trying it today and I love love loved it it's um, super comfortable on the lip you can tell it's not gonna really budge or move around too much because it's not slippery. I just like this color so much. It's just, um, it's just not a color that I own. I'm so glad I bought this one and I stuck it out and tried another color because that other color that I tried was not cute. So yeah, those are all my first impressions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more of my tutorials or first impressions, those will be on my channel Monday through Fridays when I usually post up my beauty videos. And then on weekends, I have my vlogs. Just stick around and subscribe if you want to see all those videos and get notifications when they come up. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.